Stephanie P, whatever it is you want to say, and I am back with another video for you guys. Now, I know it's been a hot minute since I posted another video, but we back, okay? We back, and today I am bringing you guys this new technique that I've been seeing and I wanted to try, and it is, I don't know if it's tie-dye, I don't know if it's marble-ish, but whatever, it could be all I'm mixing one. Um, so today's set was kind of mint green inspired. This was actually prime nails that I did. Um, it was my sister's prom, and she wanted mint green because her dress was mint green and silver. So we kind of was like trying to give her like a mint green ish kind of look, you know, to complete um, her entire prom look that she was going for. So we ended up using the Macar green poly gel kit and we actually ended up using all of the colors in this kit including the clear color we used all of the colors now the colors that well the color that's primarily on her nails um i do remember that it was the middle color in the kit so i'm not sure of the exact number but it will be listed down below in the description box so remember anything that you want to know that i use in this video or in any other videos always listed in a description box so don't forget to check the subscription box okay you guys now before we even continue why don't we just stop what we doing you know or while we're watching this video why don't we just go on and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys um but anyways i want to chit chat with you guys for like a brief moment just to update you guys on like what's been going on and like where i've been um so let me just start off with youtube okay so youtube has been great for me um yeah i mean like youtube has been really has been really good uh thus far but i can say sometimes i do get a little unmotivated you know with doing youtube videos and posting you know different types of content because i just feel like <laughs> I can't I'm not gonna say wishy-washy but I just feel like some videos you know whereas they'll get great reviews you know like let's just say okay like a nail video like this video that I'm doing now now I'll do a nail video right and let's just say you get over a thousand views and then I post another nail video and then it you know barely get over a hundred views you know what I mean so the same thing like with a makeup video or with um you know or with a hair video you know so it's not necessarily wishy-washy it just it confuses me as to what type of content to put out because i'm you know like trying to figure out like my target audience you know and what it is that they like to watch i do know my nail channels my nail channels <laughs> i do know my nail video sometimes does relatively well but my top video is my detail sick silk press. So, you know, I'm just a little bit confused as to what type of content to continue to put up or what more of this should I put up, if that makes sense. So, you know, YouTube sometimes leaves me a little bit unmotivated because it's like I don't know what to put up. Like, I don't know what more to film. Whether Should I do nails? You know, should I just stick with the hair tutorial? You know what I mean? So, I'm kind of, I kind of have been a little bit unmotiv unmotivated. But, I think I'm just going to continue, you know, with how I've been doing it. Because I am a beauty-based channel. I don't want to be stuck in a box as far as only being a nail channel. Or only being a makeup channel. You know, because I love it all. Anything beauty related, I love it. I love nails. <laughs> I clearly love makeup and I love doing my hair um so I don't know I guess you know I'm gonna continue doing it how I've been doing it um because like I said I don't want to be put in a box of only being one you know a type of channel when it's not it's really just anything beauty related so um that's with that and then my business for those who do not know I do have a business 
Luxury Doll, um, which is my baby. And Luxury Doll really has been giving me the blues. Now, <laughs> um, it's just been giving me the blues. Like, it just seemed like something always, you know, goes wrong. You know, when, like, things are going great, then something goes wrong, right? And then things are going great, then something goes wrong. So, Luxury Doll, my baby, really has been giving me the blues, okay? And, you know, I briefly told you guys before about how my entire site, you know, was kind of at a standstill where people could not place orders and things like that because of something that the site requested and a bunch of stuff that the site holder wanted me to have on the site. So it took me about a month and some change to take care of all of that stuff. And then now the issue that I've been having is on Instagram because, you know, Instagram and YouTube is how I promote my business. So Instagram kind of has been giving me the blues because they told me that I violated some type of advertising policy or I don't really know what, I really don't know what they're talking about because, I mean, I sell lashes and jewelry. I mean, you know, and I'm by it being a business page, you know, you can't just tack on like any type of music that you want. So I'm not really sure exactly what it is that I violated. So I reached out to them. And they were not able to tell me what I violated, but they basically just told me that they made the final decision and that it's not going to be lifted. So it's just been a hot mess, okay? But I'm still determined to thug it out, okay? I'm still determined because I love my baby. I'm very proud of what I have accomplished thus far. So now I'm now in the process and in the phase of trying to get rid of everything that's on my site. So that I can revamp my brand. When I initially started my business, I wanted it to be, or I wanted to sell particular items. But I didn't want to just jump right into it because um, I, it was me. It was my fault. You know, I was very scared because I did not know how the business, you know, was going to be perceived. So I didn't initially buy stuff that I wanted to sell. But I did buy stuff that I thought people, you know, would buy and things like that. So now I'm in the process of trying to get rid of everything and I'm revamping my entire business from the color. Who knows? I may even change the name, um, but I'm revamping it from the colors to what's being offered on the site. Everything is being revamped. So that's pretty much where I've been and why I have not been on YouTube. So I want you guys to think that I abandoned you because I did not I have a bunch of videos that are waiting to be uploaded. But I just wanted to tell you guys that real quick. Now, back to these nails. This whole tie-dye marble-ish, let me tell you, especially with these particular colors, gorgeous, okay? When you see the end video, you're going to say the same thing, like super gorgeous. Um, and it actually was really, really, really easy <laughs> to create. It was so easy. Um, it just pretty much was you placing random um, pieces of poly gel onto the nail, patting it out to wherever you like then curing it like flash curing it or whatever and then you know placing a different color you know so it's just really about random placement and letting it cure and that really was how i got these nails um they came out super cute if you guys want a full on tutorial just give this video a thumbs up or comment a blue heart and i will show you guys how i achieved this in in-depth video so that's pretty much it i'm gonna let you guys finish watching this video Again, I just wanted to chit chat with you guys real quick just to tell you like where I've been, what's been going on. But with all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, all that good jazz. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. Um, but that's pretty much it. I love you guys. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.
Position. Position. Position.